I want her to have the best life possible, but I want her to have even more opportunities than I had. Hi, Mama. This little girl changed Celine Schmal's world in an instant. Once I found out I was pregnant with her, even my mind at that moment, like everything changed. Like I knew right at that moment I had to continue with school. I knew that I had to really step up to the plate with things. Hi, Chikatia. Without a place to live, Celine knew she needed yeah. to reach out. Everybody needs somebody. And it doesn't mean that just because you have help that you were never capable of doing it on your own, but it's nice to know there are people by your side. The single mom arrived at Chris 180 three months ago, and she now has an apartment, a job, and childcare for her daughter. I know you see your bottle over there. Kind of fell in love because I was like, this is what I want. This is like the sense of independence I need. You want it? For years before <laughs> Celine's arrival, the nonprofit was known as Chris Kids, serving foster children and those aging out of the system. These days, more than a third of the 5,000 people served every year, like Celine, are over 18. Everybody falls down, no matter what the age is. So to have a, a place where you can go, that you can build yourself up, that you can get a job, that you can get back on your feet, you can continue with school, and you have every resource at your fingertip to do so. That's important. We specialize in helping people recover from the bad things that happened in their lives. And it doesn't matter what age you are. Enter Chris 180. Represents what we do. We help people change the direction of their lives and um, help them become self sufficient contributing citizens. And Chris 180 is all about making a change. People's lives really do turn around here. They turn around, they turn around for the better. At the Chris 180 outreach event, in the midst of health screenings and haircuts, it was Celine who was reaching out. It's like a nice, big peacoat type. Volunteering to help the next person in need of a life change. At the end of the day, you kind of have to think back like, oh, when I was in that spot or when I was in that bad place, someone took the time out of their day or what they were doing to come and help me. And it's not even just that it's right to give back, I want to.